In this video we will look at the vagrant push command which allows you to deploy code um, to numerous services such as FTP or Heroku. In this episode we will be looking at Heroku, um, we'll be looking at the Heroku tool belt also and I'll just give you a quick demonstration of editing a file, pushing it with the command and seeing the changes live. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. So first things first, we need to um, create our Vagrant file. So for that, I'll just be running the uh, Vagrant init command. And we'll jump straight into the Vagrant file using the nano text editor. So we'll run sudo nano Vagrant file. Now, within this block, we're going to set up the actual um, push config block so we need to do config.push.define and we're going to be calling it Heroku as that's the method we'll be using to push the code. Now there are a few other ones such as FTP but for this video we'll just be looking at Heroku and then we need to do push as the variable and I'll just close that block so I don't forget. Now the first part is um, we'll be using push.app and that's the name of the application. So when you set it up in Heroku, you'll you'll have been given um, the option or you'll have been asked to set a name. Now I've just done a really basic one. I've just done vagrant-push-test. And the second part is push.dir, which is the directory um, that the code will be in. So again, I've just been really, really simple, and I've called it the same thing, vagrant.test, and then a slash at the end just so it knows it's the directory. And then the next part we need to set up is the uh, remote branch um, for the code, because this is all done through Git and sort of version control software. So I'm using Heroku, which is the default option. Um, you can change it to something like master or origin or something like that, but we'll be using Heroku for now to keep things simple. So that's all we need to do in the um, Vagrant file. So we can press Control O and then Enter and Control X to exit out. Now the next part we need to do is we need to actually get um, Heroku um, the code up and running. So for this, what you can do is you can open your dashboard um, where you have the application running and under the deploy tab um, we'll, we'll select the code here. So I've got, I'm using the Heroku Git um, the tool belt which you can install. I'll leave um, a, a link in the description. You can use Dropbox or GitHub. I'm just for simplicity's sake going to use the Heroku tool belt. So you need to run the, the command Heroku login which I've done and all you need to do is put your email address and password for your Heroku um, like login details for the main website and then the second part is cloning the actual repository into your, onto your local machine so I'm just going to be a bit lazy here and copy and then paste that here yeah, paste and then that will just run now, cloning into the, there we go, fantastic. Then we can CD into that new file. And as you'll see, all I've got is index.php. Now I'll show you this, I'll just sudo nano. And it's really, really simple. It's just echoing out hello world 3333. And on the live URL, so vagrant-push-test, which is the name, Dot .heroku app.com you'll see there it is it's just spitting out that really really basic string there so we know everything's working now what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to say change that to hello youtube exclamation mark exclamation mark control o and enter to save control x to get out now the next part is we're going to do we're going to git add the index file we've just changed and then we're going to commit this. So we're going to do git commit dash am and then just a message to go with that. So um, saying hello to YouTube. There we 
go. And now we can run the actual vagrant push command. And you'll wait a few seconds. Basically, the Heroku has to grab this, the new code that you've made changes to, it has to upload it, download the files, and then sort of reconfigure it on the Heroku end. And once that's finished, we should be able to refresh our um, vagrant dash push dash test uh, live URL that we've got. There we go. So that's finished now. And if I just refresh that, it'll just take a few seconds on the first refresh. And we should see any minute now should say hello YouTube as we just changed in the index.php file. There we go. Now you may have noticed that we actually did this without opening up a virtual machine and the joy of this vagrant push command is that you don't actually have to have the virtual machine or box running. Now what I would recommend doing is linking this vagrant dash push dash test file to your um, the shared folders within the vagrant box. So what you could do is you could edit the files, you could see the live changes through the box if you're running like Apache or Nginx and then if you're happy with that you can run the vagrant push command and then your changes will go live. So that's um, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and I will leave um, lots of links in the description to help you out. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.